Oh, that's not gonna be fun. Ah, the hell is just a power slide. Oh, good morning, Visions. I'm glad you. I'm glad you stopped in. I do owe you. I came up with some more stuff you wouldn't believe. And uh, first, I, I owe you an apology. Another apology, and that's you were right in that the heat. Here, I'll show you what I kind of found. Uh, the heat is directly related to the quantum, and in fact, the the quantum is predictable. But, you know, you were saying that, and those are the parts that just, I was, I, I couldn't believe. But that's because it invalidated my 15 hours of testing over the weekend. But uh, what I what I came up with, something is still, right, there still has to be some kind of a, a variable that was causing all those discrepancies. But... Here's what I've, since then, well, one of these tests here was actually the first test we did yesterday. 
but other than that since the patch I've done five tests in the Titan and came up with uh, what you know obviously a, a you know a, a reasonable number there and the same I only did a couple in this one and I did one just one to get these uh, ba make sure the baseline and everything was the same but uh, so there's what I've got and there is I mean a, a consistent distance here which is what I was looking for and that's great but uh, let, me, let me get rid of that is what I have on my notes apparently the variable wasn't in the quantum travel or the heat itself but the starting point and for some reason since the test I can't get the starting temperature on the Titan to change at all it's always 300 when you spawn it but if you go back and look at the video even the second test we did yesterday it was higher you know I didn't know what I was looking at but you know when I went back and because after I figured out what the numbers meant I went back and looked at the video and yeah the first one was at 300 but the second one was at 360 and I'm like well why and so apparently my my error was to assume that if you claim a ship <laughs> that you would get a baseline new ship <laughs> And so anyway, I so I tested the Freelancer, and the first time I spawned it, the temperature was at 623. And that's and and at that point, I tested. I was checking them on the pad. I'd literally start the ship and then look at the temperature. And the first time I did the Freelancer, it was at 620 something, like 623, 25. And so I left Levski, flew out, and, and by the way, Levski doesn't have an atmosphere all you got to do is get out of uh, armistice so I left Les Levski and it was still at 670 or so and I or 570 and I waited a while then I realized I could just cycle the power on that quantum drive drops it right to 300 so I could run my test so thank you again you 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 created a situation where now I don't even have to do the quantum travel I know I can get a a consistent temperature so long as I cycle the power and make sure that quantum drive is at 300 at baseline then I'll get a consistent temperature where my variable that was screwing me up this past weekend and and screwed us up yesterday is that the starting temperature can change uh, you know meaning if I spawn a ship it may not be a baseline <laughs> and even a fresh clean ship may not be a baseline so that's I just actually I was going to spawn this one because I did do it once and it was at 410 when I spawned it yesterday I only spawned it once and just did one test so I wanted to spawn it I'm not going to fly it just kind of testing to see if it's but apparently the fact that I did I've done five tests seven since that update would seem to suggest that that update has corrected this this variable I don't know why I'm pretty sure they haven't done any specific update to this but you know, that's kind of what bugs are I guess but yeah I, for some reason I was getting you know I was obviously getting variables every time I was spawning them this weekend it's the only thing I can think of this past weekend that I'm not getting now that the patch is out I mean I did six tests over the weekend and didn't get two that were the same and last night I did five and all five were the same so and two two of those were from Levski yeah yeah the bottom out is actually the the great one that that's to me that's and having you know and knowing the max distance that that'll that'll do you in other words if you're only going 20 million kilometers that's a better way to to get there than lowering your temps because you don't have to worry about raising it back up uh the average temperatures 
they seem to be pretty consistent for the two different sizes I drove too. Uh, the Titan, the average temperature is 24 and a half to 25 million. But that's, you got to make sure you're at baseline, right? <laughs> and the baseline is 300. On all three of these ships, the baseline is 300 and they overheat at 7. But, and here's another uh, size 1 that went a little further, 26.8. So they're all, let's say, 25 million kilometers, roughly, for the size 1 is what it appears to be. And then maybe 44 for a size two, you know, roughly. Though though they're not exact temperatures. I'm not doing exact. But here's what I wanted to test. I'm not even gonna gonna fly it. But here's what I was getting at, and and it seems to be getting better. Apparently, the 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 thing that they did yesterday. Yeah. See that one's at baseline. EOS is the. Uh, But see, the first time last night when I spawned it, it was at 410. But now I'll bet every time I spawn it from now on, it'll be at 300. I think they patched something that, that you know, I don't think they patched something directly to this, but I think maybe they did some server stuff or whatever that's preventing a bug, basically, where that temperature is erroneously displayed or something i i don't know it, it's weird but that's the closest i can come up with but i do i do thank you very much for for, <laughs> for forcing me to look at that against my <laughs> as you as you said i didn't really want to because it was gonna negate a lot of work <laughs> but i needed to that was that was very good useful information you got me into and i needed to look at it and figure it out But yeah, it looks like the uh, size ones will go about 24 km, 24, uh, 25 km, million km, my bad. Uh, hey. But that's provided they're at baseline to start with, and you got to check, because they may not always be. Of course, that seems like maybe they've gotten that fixed. Whatever was causing that issue seems to be a lot better. I... I an example is the Titan. I mean, five times in a row, it spawned with 300. Well, if it had done that over the weekend, I would have gotten at least a few out of the six or seven tries. I would have gotten some consistent results. And I wasn't getting any. I mean, I didn't have any that were this close. Why not? Oh, come on. So the other one, there was another odd bug that I want to check out that's along the same lines now that I know where that is. is I don't know if we'll ever figure out, you know, the temperature starting out. It, it may be fixed or it may get fixed in the future. So it, it's not really an issue so long as I know how to reset it to, to baseline, which... You know that that's that's a big. To the following landing pad. You know, I I like it when two plus two equals four. <laughs> that's just. <laughs> well, damn it! I guess I'll fly something else. Why why can't I get my ship? Guess I'll fly the uh, Titan. I know how to get there with it now. <laughs> Ao seven. Okay. Same same spot. So yeah, I, I do apologize. I was it just I was like, oh my god, I, I've spent all that time and didn't really come up with anything. I did. I I actually found out more specific science or or knowledge last night in the two three hours than I did all weekend. Ah like, oh, shit. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> But yeah, it's a good, it's a good, you know. I like to know how things work. That's that's my thing. I I don't, 
you know, I, I don't like accepting, oh, it's this way because that, 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 and the other. I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's check it. Let's test it. But yeah, I haven't been able to reproduce the higher thing since the Titan right after the test, right after the patch. And even it seems to have uh, gone, gotten closer and closer and not done it. Maybe there's something being saved on a server or something that should or shouldn't be saved that, you know, they're redoing, you know, restoring a... But yeah, see, it's at 300 now. And it's the bottom one. But yeah, you, you can, and you can, you can do anything you want here. For example, flying at this speed does not at all change the temperature. We're still at, at 300. No, I'm not in atmosphere or anything. So. Why'd it go higher? Huh. Anyway. Let's see if we can get to... Uh... But the other odd one that I wanted to check was the heart rate in our, in our court. You know, I understand you know, like heavy armor or whatever should run your heart rate up. And and I have, but I have dozens of video where it not only ran my heart rate up while I was moving, but even after I came to a complete stop, it would continue going up. Let's see how far, 2043. Well, I guess I'll just adjust it. not testing for this anymore I, I I think we have uh, that heat thing was the big that was the key that I was missing that the temperature that your 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 part was the part that I was missing and yeah that that really made a difference take the camera off for a second but yeah that that really makes a difference so that 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 tells me at least now I'm working with a 2 plus 2 equals 4 scenario in that part. That That's what I needed. Because I was just totally boggled. But here I want to see if that uh, if I can walk around and stop. Because I don't know, I'm wondering if these two bugs might have been uh, might be connected. Might be somehow tied. But yeah, right here is where you turn it off, right here in the heat page. Say if you, if you launch, or even if, say if you quantum, and it's up high because you just quantum, then you want to quantum again, just cycle that power. It'll, it'll reduce, it, reduce it to 300 and give you the max range again. So in between any, any quantums, you're, you're going to want to look at that if you're going any distance at all. You can... You can cheat it a little bit or whatever and, and and get at least the full distance out of it. Another little uh, I don't know what you call it but a tidbit of, of odd information is there seems to be a max limit not fuel to how far you can quantum. Either that or it's because uh, microcorp isn't there but I set a route from uh, Delamar 
to microcore. I said, oh, great. 50 uh, million kilometers almost exactly. Great deal. Easy to calculate. Blah, blah, blah. Lined up with it with my freelancer, and it told me uh, uh, out of range. It's the first time I'd seen that. And I had I had enough quantum fuel, but it still told me out of range, which I'd never seen before. I thought that was odd. So apparently, there's a maximum range for any v vessel as well that that has nothing to do with the fuel capacity. Or more likely, it just says out of range because there's no, not actually nothing there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure people have have traveled to it before, though. I mean, I've heard people say they were going to in chat. I've <laughs> never actually heard of anybody personally that's done it. They're still slower, but at least with the heat thing, we can get around the the overheat part, you know, with the temperature, whatever. They're still slow, the size ones are still slower, so. Which to me, oh, I'm gonna return that. Which to me, makes them less useful. I mean, we only have one of 60 solar systems. I can only imagine that you know, if we had 60 solar systems and you want to go three solar systems away, something like this isn't going to be a valid choice. You know, it, from from what I can tell of the arc map, of course, I, all can change, but, the, you know, the star map or whatever they call it, uh, you know, you're going to have to go through a jump tunnel and then travel pretty much across most solar systems to get to the next jump tan, tan, tunnel and, and so on so that would negate using any single uh, size one quantum drive for for a reasonable purpose even a size two maybe you know if you have a size three they're obviously going to be better but Maybe it may be doable, but not reasonably so. <laughs> Which may be their purpose. That, that may be what they're shooting for, right? But I'm guessing they also will will rebalance things as as the as the galaxy gets bigger, you know. Right now they're trying to balance it. That's what I tell people. They do an amazingly large amount of my, of work, extra work, just to give us a playable alpha. And they're they're probably balancing it for the playfield they have, right? And they're going to, likely going to have to tweak and adjust that when they start expanding that that galaxy. Game sounds awful low, but... It's not as bad, so yeah, it's just me.
I, I don't really. My only theory is there's a bug in it. <laughs> I was. I've noticed at at uh, R Corp here. That's why I'm going to R Corp. That you know, I understand the heavier atmospheres and heavier armors runs your heart rate up faster. Even if you're just walking in heavy armor now, your heart rate can increase. And I've seen that in R Corp, Levski, and uh, not Levski, but R Corp and Lorville. Even Lorville, it'll do it, but not as much as, as R Corp. Okay, the bug that I found was that even after you stopped walking in R Corp, standing still, your heart rate would continue to go up. And, you know, this would apply whether you were at a kiosk or just in the middle of a hallway. Your heart rate would continue to climb until you died, I mean, sometimes. But you could move over a step and it'd start going down. Or sometimes you had to move over two times or whatever and it'd start going down. So I think it was like just getting stuck. In other words, if you're walking along in heavy armor, it's supposed to go down slow. You know, just like running only maybe a little less effect right so it was just getting stuck and wouldn't release when you stopped and I'm wondering because I've seen a lot of things that seem improved on this this patch the terminals seem to work faster they seem to refresh faster you know a lot of different little tweaks that seem to be an improvement so I'm just curious to see if that bug is still there if I can walk around and stop anywhere and let my heart rate go down because I mean I I have a, at least a dozen videos of where I, you know I'm watching my heart rate now yeah and while squatting okay I haven't I haven't tried it yeah I haven't tried it squatting or sitting but mine was just what literally walking around I could just stop and my heart rate would keep climbing even while I'm standing still you know and I don't think that should happen. I have to think that's a bug, right? That it, it just didn't it, it didn't register you stopping or something and it kept keeps climbing. Because you could step sideways or step forward and get it to stop just by moving a couple of steps sometimes. Well, every time. But you have to watch it. You, you know, it makes it very uncomfortable to even walk around in our court when you've got to watch your heart rate and stop and then move over and stop move over and get it and wait for it to go down because it just continues to climb and so i want to see if that's been fixed with this last patch that you know that yeah there's no pattern to it well i don't need a pattern if i can walk from one end of our if i can land at our court <laughs> and get to the central square without seeing it because like I said it was every time I've walked through through our court my heart rate would go up and stopping wouldn't reverse it I'd have to stop and then move over and I mean this was not a hundred percent but I'd say 70 80 percent of the time that was the case I'd have to stop and then sidestep or you know do it do a little devil step and then keep watching because it may not work the first time I may have to do it two two times or even three times to get it to start going down so yeah if I can walk around in our corp and just stop and it goes down and that that's consistent then it'll mean it's fixed because <laughs> it was bad for me a part of that may be my hard drive or my moderate internet service or you know I don't know but yeah definitely I mean it was it was a severe issue for me in, in our corp so you know if I can go around in our corp walk around reasonably for 20 minutes and then actually leave our corp and don't see it that'll be enough evidence for me that it's it's not not around anymore uh, well that's exactly the armor right right if you're wearing three uh, medium you you won't notice it as but bad medium you can walk at full speed even you know scroll wheel all the way up and it won't increase your heart rate right I, I'm get I'm not certain here but I'm thinking in medium armor you can you can walk as fast as the game will allow and it won't ever do that if you wear heavy armor even while walking not running just walking 
it increases your heart rate very slowly but increases your heart rate walking and that's the it's the heavy arm I know that if I take the heavy armor off it doesn't do that but the bug wasn't that it was raising the 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 heat the the heart rate the bug was that even when you stopped walking once you once it started going up even after you stopped walking it continued to go up I mean I've literally died in our court because I had to go AFK I stopped jumped up you know let the dogs out whatever I forget what it was I had to do and came back and I, I was dead and that's how I realized what you know what killed me I was standing in the middle of our corp how, how can you die right and then I got to looking and and it was pretty consistent with me I mean you know if I walked it go up if I stopped at least three out of four times my heat my heart rate would continue going up and you know three out of four times it would continue going up and since I'm seeing a lot of better I'm guessing it's server client connection like the the kiosks I mean in in three in three five in the first uh, whatever you know three five original it it was you know it was it's pretty bad but like the kiosks would take a while you'd see you know the whole row of ships say destroyed and it would take literally 5 seconds or so before they'd show stored like they're supposed to well this time now it's it's almost instant when I mean, you look at it within a second or two it goes to stored things like that there's just little nuances of that I haven't seen. I, you know, I saw that. Uh, I, I need because uh, I've seen another one. I may have to to do a Google search and find some of those commands. I, I, I saw uh, another streamer use that too. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's. It, that's probably what it is and, and that doesn't bother I, I'm wearing a combination of medium and heavy I have a heavy helmet and, and torso and then uh, medium arms and legs so yeah and and I'm sure that that but that's not what I'm trying to determine I mean I, I get you and you're right the weight will determine how fast it, it makes your heart rate go up right but again that's not the but what I'm looking at is the fact that that should stop when you stop walking in other words, okay, I get it. I'm overweight, you know, over capacity or have a heavy set of armor on. So when I'm walking, my heart rate goes up. But it shouldn't go up when you when you stop walking. Right? That's it shouldn't do that. And that's what it was doing. It it wouldn't it would continue to climb. And specifically in our corp. I saw it a little bit in left in uh, yeah, in Lorville, but not not near as bad as as Lev's as Arcor here. So, so yeah, that's what I. Let's see, maybe I did have the wrong uh, engine. I want to see if this thing has a problem. Yeah, uh, we kind of need a cool down. There we go. Yeah, and that's very likely. But as you say, if it's acting buggy, that's because there's a bug. <laughs> and, you know, that, that's what Alpha's about. It, you know, it, it should stop over overexerting you when you stop overexerting. You know, that, that would be the correct way to code it. And, and I can't imagine they coded it differently, so that would mean it's a bug. The fact that it doesn't do it in other places, you know. I'm not sure what the 
command is, but that is, that would be useful. I I need to do that because that's that's just like the last one. I'm missing some, I'm I'm missing some data if I'm doing that kind of testing. Right now, I just want to see if it's fixed. I want to see if I can walk through Arcor. I mean, literally before, I I would have to literally be very cautious, and uh, I'd watch my. Uh, Oh, are you, are you, uh, you not working today? Cool. Let's see. And I just want to see if I get through here without keeping a dead eye on my, you know, on my heart rate like I was having to do. Because before, if it got anywhere near 120 or so, I'd have to stop. I didn't, because it may not quit going up. I mean, I, you know, I may have to sidestep two or three times to get it to stop, to, to quit rising. So I couldn't let it get very high. Uh, you know, I understand it's going to go up with the heavy armor if that's the way they got it working. And, and I'm fine with that. I, I just want to be able to stop and walk away from the game without dying, standing in... Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, I have... You know, I have... You know, it should stop when you do, so that I'm pretty sure that's the way it should work. So I'm just wondering if that's changed. But I will look up, as a matter of fact, I'll look that up as soon as I land, because I do want that... It gives you, that stat you're talking about, the command gives you like uh, atmosphere, gravity, and, and all the, you know, all the, the weight statistics that would make this, you know, something like this down and dirty test we're fixing to do valid. <laughs> it would tell you what you're testing. Right now, I just want to do a down and dirty test compared to what it was doing before the patch. That's all I'm really looking at here, I guess. There should be some way to target a thing and keep the distance up without having to bring up your quantum. We need waypoints. We really do. Mappable waypoints would be great. seem to put me on this side, so I guess I'll get over here on this side. Yeah, but I, I've been, you know, I kind of want a base in, in, in Area 18 here, but I've been hesitant to because, like I said, I can literally die just standing still. And so, yeah, I, I've been very reluctant to do it. In fact, the, the last few times I've been doing missions, I've been doing them out of here, but I'm respawning out of Loreville just because of this, because I'll die if I set it here. I'm not, I'm not sure what that means. I mean, yeah, maybe. My specs aren't real great, particularly with the hard drive when you... Hey, nice, they kind of changed this a little bit. Still crowded, but not as bad, huh?
let it land so it doesn't float away. Well, I should have tested that. It may they may have gotten that little thing fixed too. But yeah, that that may be be it. But the performance is sure sure better and a little different. So we'll see if it's if it's the same thing. See, now I'm not even overheating. Okay, there's running. That's overheating. Yeah, it's fixed. It's definitely fixed. That's what I'm telling you. It was so bad, it I wouldn't notice. It's definitely fixed. Uh, it's holding its own. There it goes. It, yeah. yeah, it's holding its own while I'm walking, but not climbing. That's definitely better than it was. I'm thinking there was something just really odd. You know, server, client, communication or something. And I'd walk for, you know, a minute or two, so I'd know I was walking, and, and then I'd stop, and the delay in the stop was causing issues, something. I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep going. Yeah, I never walked before. There it goes. Now I'm starting to climb just walking. So it's, it's area related. Now let's stop. Up straight back down that's what it wouldn't do yesterday i mean literally it, that did not happen never i mean 90 90 percent of the time or better when i stopped see now it's climbing a little bit and that's fine yeah i, I get that's the heavy armor that's i get that's intended and you know working as intended so it's going up a stop yeah it's fixed See, as soon as I let go of the button, P, what's P? Oh, okay, hit t tilde. Uh, t show status, let's try that. Yeah, resort devices, I don't want rebound, so it's got to be the status. There we go. Gravity. See, that's that's why it's doing it. It's 3.0 gravity here. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. So yeah, I'm carrying 44 kilograms, but because it's 3x gravity, the equipment weight is 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 that. I guess that's what that would all mean, right? Uh, and I'm 8x. That did, thank you. That that's a very good one right there. I needed that. Initiating ship storage procedure. Player show status, I guess, is what it would thank be. You for your cooperation. Uh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't really tell me much that I, you know, that means anything. But yeah, that's that's definitely telling me 44 kilograms. How much is that in pounds? Yeah, it's 90 pounds or so. I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely fixed. See, just walking. I'm not running at all. I haven't. I don't use run because of this. But yeah, and particularly. Stop, it goes, yeah, it's fixed. And, and particularly, for some reason, if I stopped against a wall, yeah, it would it would always go up. I, I mean, literally, if, if I was at a kiosk, or, or I, had, I had one guy almost kill me in this train once. I was standing in the train, and a guy got in my face. <laughs> you know, just 
goofing off, right? Normally I'd just ignore her, right? Yeah, well, it wasn't like he was bothering me, but some guy got in my face and was doing the, you know, the, the funny, I missed the train talking naturally, but, you know, doing the funny, you know, wave and flip you the bird, you know, just goofing off. It was kind of fun, actually. But he was killing me. <laughs> Literally, when he walked up to me and stood in front of me, my heart rate started going up. It was fine until he walked up and stood right in front of me. So something about the collision or something, I mean, something was buggy, as you said, yeah. That's true. Could be. It's P. I guess it's always one. That's, uh... Rude guy, come stand right in front of me like that. Huh, let's try. Okay, you don't need any number. Just, just testing, just looking. <laughs> it's the same here. I say it is. Wow, now I'm at one one G. Well, see, that's a bug. There shouldn't be three G back there and one G here, should there? I don't know. But you're right. I got to testing it. Yeah, for some reason it was showing 3G there, and now it's only showing 1G. Dude! That guy just fell to his death through the crack. Oh, no, there he goes. Must have just been a glitch. That's really all I wanted. Well, see, now I can, now I can base it. Doors are now closing. Yeah, so here it's not going up because it's only 1G. I guess it's the train thing. Maybe I was just close enough to the train thing because obviously the train would only, well, no. How, how can he have less gravity? You can, that, that one's new. I guess that's part of the sci-fi effect. <laughs> yeah, gravity isn't exactly uh, changeable. <laughs> Shouldn't be variable from location to location on a planet. But yeah, that's, but it's definitely something. Something's definitely better. Now I'm. Now I can base here. That's cool. Cause that I. I been doing missions out of here but I've been basing out of uh, Lorville and then flying over here and load logging out in the bed hoping that the bed respawn worked which it has been so that's been all right but I mean I've been doing that simply because I didn't want to uh, respawn here in, in our court Yeah, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, well, we obviously can affect gravity. We have gravity in our ships. You know, so we have gravity generators or whatever that's affecting it. And that's, you know, changing it. But yeah, see, before I would have been at 120 right now having to stop and, and cool, stop and do a cool down just on my heat. Yesterday, I would have been having trouble just walking around here. And like I said, stop, it's going down. Nope, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, before, it, would, it was never consistently going down like that. I mean, in fact, consistently, it wasn't 
working when you just stopped. You'd have to stop, double step once or twice, sometimes three times to get it to start reducing. And now it's doing it. Lickety split. I love that. That is cool. Damn. Now I can get me an apartment and stay here. <laughs> I like that new new key. That's pretty good. I'm showing two here. <laughs> so we've seen three, one, and two in this whole, in this place. I wonder if that is intentional. They were different locations, but. We're still on the surface, right? So we aren't like so far down or whatever that the distance to core would make a difference. That can actually affect gravity. Well, that was all I really wanted to do is test that thing because that's just too cool. Where am I at? Where's the fizzies? There they are. <laughs> the fizzies, my, my number one uh, road map in this central square. Find that, I can find any direction to anything. There you go. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, man. They, they, it, it's corrected two issues that I well one I don't know that it's corrected but seems to be corrected at least one and this other issue is definitely yeah yeah for me that ain't bad I mean I really ought to try lowering my settings if I'm gonna stay in hardcore but yeah that's not bad for streaming and all but the the what I was looking at is see how my my heart rates going down when I'm standing that's what wasn't going on before. I'm going here because this is one of the places that was always a killer. For some reason, these terminals right here were deadly for me. And my heart rate's going down, standing up. See, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, before, I couldn't look at these, at either one of these terminals. You well, you've seen it. You've seen me say, "Look, look, <laughs> God, dirty look there! It's going up." Yeah, you've seen that that bug I'm talking about, haven't you? But yeah, it's that one seems to be corrected. As these used to be deadly, I'd literally have to stand out here, you know, step around until I could, and then then wait, cool down to my heart rate got down to seventy or less. Oh. There it goes. It's climbing. Look at that. I'm standing still in my heart. There it goes. It's not completely fixed. It's climbing and I'm just standing still. That, I believe, is a bug. That shouldn't happen. Well, okay, but a foot over gravity's different <laughs> that's what I'm, I've only moved to grab a foot <laughs> and now it's going down alright I got two here I well, see it was going down in that three area Let's see if I can get yeah that's definitely a bug there it is right there Yeah, it's still 2G. All those numbers are the same. But that's definitely a bug. I should not be climbing heart rate right there standing still. I knew there was a spot in here that was a killer. I've died in here two or three times. Yeah, that that's definitely... There's the bug I was looking at to see if it's fixed. It is kind of fixed. Because, like I said, before anywhere i mean that was that was all over our court now now it seems to be in just a few areas 
But yeah, that, there it is. I, I'm, I'm glad I, I, I was like, man, I know this place always did it. And yeah. Oh, are they? The new, I don't know which ones are the new ones. Stay against the wall. There's a bad spot right over there. Get you overly excited if you stand in that one spot. Well, there's a shotgun. That may be it. I'm not. I'm not a shotgun user. In the notes, I think the new guns. There wasn't anything. The new gun that. Uh, yeah. See, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Jump out and and stand there like this. This. This is the 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 fact that I'm doing that. It definitely means. Okay, it's a Gemini S71. I don't say what it is. And a Castax Coda. I don't see the uh, Gemini in here. They don't have either one of them here. Castax something Coda. That's not here. And. Gemini S71 was the other, and it's a rifle. Yeah, we'll have to figure out where they're at. Because they don't appear to be in this one. Huh, so you can buy a hundred each time? I was thinking it'd be like a hundred max. I need to let this scroll. You should be able to hit it once. Can I? There's no place to like enter a number? I guess not. I'm getting another 20 just for sure. I, I should have plenty. I was hoping it'd hold like a hundred total. <laughs> you know, I already have 20 or 30. I was hoping it'd hit 70 or 80. But it's definitely a lot better than it was. I can, I, at least now I can stop anywhere and. Yeah, I can let go of the PC and walk away if I have to, AFK or whatever, and my heart rate goes down. That didn't happen yesterday. I mean, as. as soon ago as yesterday morning that was that was not the case yeah I'm glad I yeah I'm glad I I, I went to that one spot there fusion so you could see the the bug that's definitely a bug that's why you know I, I that was a bug and I knew it was and it's still here but it's definitely much better than it was that's that's not at all like it was This I can live with. Yesterday, I, I literally wasn't going to live here because of that. And the reason I like to live here is because of these missions here. All these 7,500 uh, missions. The only thing I don't have here that I like is my FPS mission. So I'll have to go back. I got to take a bio real quick but I guess I'll have to run to Lorville if I want to do the FPS stuff or or do I guess twitches but
Yeah, so before I was having the base and uh, why are these? Oh, okay, that just means I haven't been looked at. Yeah. Uh, I've looked at all of them now. Go away. Let's see. I don't like to use the spaceport. On the area, I, I like to find one that goes to a. Uh, that either is from or goes to a, a R and R. Here's one. Go Lyria to Humboldt. See, that's a good one. We'll take that one. Now, this is this is why I like staying here. But like I said, I've been pacing and. Uh, And Lorville, which is probably not a bad deal. It's probably no no slower or whatever. Yeah, it's this way. But because of that heart rate thing, I didn't want to base here. I was, you know, <laughs> I was literally having to, you know, to. It, it took me a lot longer to walk anywhere than it is now. I mean, I couldn't have made it this far at all without being and the other thing is you had to be more careful because it may not start going down immediately you know when you stopped you you may have to do a sidestep or whatever to actually get it to start to turn around and so you know you wouldn't want it to go that far yeah outside there seems to be less gravity than inside which doesn't make any sense but there may be some kind of lore reason for it. Yeah, see, we're at 2G here outside, but inside, there's only, there's 3G. So maybe they're artificially increasing the, the gravity on purpose? Is that part of the law some, lore somewhere? I have no idea, but that's... That's weird that it's 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 outside when you go outside the building it, it goes from two to from three to two. Stand clear. And here, if I remember, it was one actually on this and it really shouldn't be. Oh, wrong buttons. Yeah, see, we're only at 1G here. I'm guessing because it's a ship of sorts, but in all actuality, that wouldn't matter. It doesn't matter what they, you know, unless they have some way of lowering the gravity as well as increasing it, which may be the lower, I don't know. But it still doesn't make sense in or outside of a building. At least none that I, I know of. I, I can't understand why that would be. Sci-fi, I may not know why yet. <laughs> that's fine. I, I, I don't really, that's all great. And, you know, if there is some reason or if it's a bug, doesn't really matter either way to me so long as it's this I can deal with. Yesterday, it was it was deadly just walking around. the signs where people all talk about realism and immersion uh, yeah those are great looking they look great all the neon signs and everything but there would still be regular signs wouldn't there I mean, not everybody's gonna pay for an electric sign Well, that's, yeah, that's what I was beginning to wonder now. So that's kind of what I was going to try. See if I could get out of here. <laughs> if it's still the Arc Corp mousetrap that it was.
Yeah, me either. I've, I've been avoiding the place like a plague. Between that and the heat issue, yeah, I, I wasn't going to base myself out of here. And Jason, yeah, no way. No thank you. I want that ship here, so I'm going to claim it. But we'll see if we can get this one for now. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Hangar 10. See if it gets me out of here. Oh, my heart rate must have been going up while I was at the panel. I wasn't looking. Wow, okay. Which panel was it? This one? Yeah, there it is. There's another spot right there in front of this panel. I found two spots. Uh, I may. I I kind of need to run up some funds too. That's kind of what I'm trying to do is get enough get enough funds to even get funds. <laughs> Heck, I'm I'm still down around 20k. I, I don't, in the evenings, I, um, you know, I, I don't get on voice very often in the evenings. I can. I just, you know, got the wife watching TV right next to me. So I usually don't, but I can. Uh, I'm not going in a black hole. I'll, re I'll wait. There we go. I am not deliberately stepping into a bed. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I, I, I can. It's not a big deal. She, she doesn't, you know, it doesn't bother her. She, you know, but I don't do it anyway. Unless I'm just into it. Ready. I can't. I've, I've even streamed in the evening. With, you know, I just don't use the camera in the evening. Hey. My ship's actually in the hangar they sent me to. Oh my gosh. I love it. They, they, <laughs> I think that's a spawn in. I think I'm missing, they're missing a piece of... Not as much as, not near as much. They're still, they're still a good profit. They just don't give you what they wa did. Uh, unless they've redone it since the PTU, Neon, yeah, Neon is your best bet. It pays around 12%. That's still not the 55 to 60% that it used, that Widow paid before in 3-4. But that's still, but that's still quite a bit higher than, than, ah, shoot, wrong buttons. But that's still quite a bit, uh. But that's still quite a bit uh, higher than, than, say, consumer goods or, or whatever. So, yeah, it, Neon's still still a viable commodity, I guess it's it's called. There we go. That's the right button. Just got to wait till it... Err. Oh wow, 517. Yeah, that's my time. You're you're on my time. But here is what I was saying about the heat. Now I'll bet that it's on 300. But even that second test, if you go back and look at the, uh, yeah, if you go back and look at that temperature. It was at 360 when we did that second run. That's why we didn't go as far. But why? It was a freshly clean ship, and I just assumed that a freshly clean ship would start out at the base numbers. But apparently that 
isn't always the case or wasn't always the case. I think whatever they did in this patch has, has helped. Just like that heating issue. I think there's some bugs that were affected. I think I was chasing a bug all weekend, <laughs> basically. Chasing a moving target. Did they not let me out or what? Yeah. What the hell, people? One out. Let me out. Oh, is this a side hanger? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Darn it. No wonder I couldn't get out. <laughs> Yeah, that's the first time I've ever exited one of those. I've only I've only managed to exit this place a couple of times. Yeah, there's a good bit of chat lag. It's Twitch. P in PU in PTU, I had to literally recopy my account a couple of times to get off of that planet. <laughs> so there's definitely some improvements this this patch that I like. I'm at 5.5 G and go, what is it? I, I wonder that's probably uh, glitchy is what that probably is. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the forces on you. G rating of, of your seat. Is it supposedly at zero now? Yeah. I like Lorville. I, you know, I was basically based out of Lorville because that's where all the high paying missions were. For me, I mean, the missions that I like to do. At that point, I wasn't really into the space combat, which I'm starting to get into. I'm actually, you know, not great at it. I, I may once it gets here. <laughs> Be nice to see. We still got a few months for it though. Dang it. It's got one of these. I'm not gonna route it no matter what you want. There we go. I gotta go around to OAM to get to that one even. Seems like I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, that'll be around Christmas or thereabouts. Is that the, that's the same same patch for the character? I wish that didn't. Really, really, really wish that didn't. Uh, I'm still not out where I can see that other planet, so. get to that silly man. Oh, 
I'm just curious here. Not enough to hurt me. You know what, I better use the map. Last time I did that, it took me to something. I flew right by it. Some little space station on the other side of it. Giant, so the Carrick has the same boxes that the whole series will have, kind of. Or at least bigger boxes. How long before you reckon the Corsair will get in game? <laughs> Christmas at 2020? I don't think it's got much of anything for cargo. I don't know. I, I hadn't even looked at the specs. Only reason I even I'm even kind of considering it, it it is it's a smaller supposedly you know along the same lines as the Carrick and Explorer vessel. So. That's kind of what my main my main thing is is the exploration. I want to go see more planets. There's somebody there. Yeah, and an MR. Boy, oh, this is uh, reminiscent of that other day. One of these missions, I, I came around one of these, and some little MR sitting there, you know, I didn't think about it. So I did just this. I stopped off. I'm going to give that guy a little while, take care of his business, and leave. Now, the other guy, he took off. And, you know, obviously I can tell how far away he is by my, uh, by my, uh, targeting. Well, he took off, then he came back. So I turned around, you know, and he came back right as I was pulling down here like this about to land. I'm just going to ignore this guy and go on up there. And right about the time I, I was trying to land, he was coming back at me. So I jumped back up, aimed at him, and kind of waited. And he turned away, flew off a little while, and then turned and came back at me a second time. At that point, it was on. I was like, okay, dude, enough's enough. 
I don't want to wait on this guy forever. For all I know, he might have logged out. Or DC'd or whatever. The ship's green, right? Yeah. The target arrow's red. One little rock there, I must be on it. What is that? Check it out. That'll make it hard for him to pick me. Well, I've done one. I, I wouldn't say it was much of a dogfight. I mean, you know, I'll put my Titan up against any MR with, with some dummy that doesn't know how to fly. But the guy just stood still. I mean, he literally just stood there and watched me. I don't see anybody. There's no reason to go back here, really. And yeah, he just stood, you know, stopped, came to a dead stop right in front of me and, you know, let's play toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And I'm like, really? You know, with an MR? You know, I, Titan isn't a great little, you know, is it a great ship, but it's a step up, step or two up from an MR. And particularly in, uh, you know, with weaponry. Ah, oh, shit. Was there, is this thing open? <laughs> My ship despawned. Let's hope this guy left his ship open. Nope. How about them apples? I think I, you know what I think it might be because I I done this. I may have I may have set park too close. Hey, I'm gonna see if I can save this mission yet. I gotta respawn to get a ship, but I'm gonna get a ship and come back. See how good persistence really is. Find some place to sit this here. See, that won't be. I bet it'll despawn, but let's see. Should give me a shipment icon, right? I wonder how far away I can see that. Huh. Let's see how the respawn does, because that's something else it seems like has been extremely, darn, I keep forgetting that, extremely advan uh, better in this latest patch is, is just load in and respawn times seem a lot better. 
and then I get the black screen now that I'm bragging about it. The black screen is what I was getting last one last time. It'll probably sp spawn in, but it'll take a minute. Not sure why it does this. Only on occasion does it do, do this. Or I should say, it it didn't do it last night. It it started doing it like right at the end of last night when I was testing those quantum travels. Yeah, I think it may be. I've had several of my ships despawn like that, and I think it's because I'm parking too close. Because it seems like they don't do it if I park far enough back, then they don't. I don't have that problem. Like maybe 50 meters away, you get, you know, much closer than that. You know, 20, 30 meters away from that building, it seems to despawn your ship. Could just be random, but. Sure seems like it's distance related to me. Come on, load in. Wonder. Huh. I don't know if that helped or what, but that seemed to seem to bring it back, just tabbing out. And I still do have a... Yeah, I can save this. <laughs> go get another ship, go back and pick it up. Park a little further away this time and see if that helps. Technically, if, if we were just out for grinding cash, I should abandon this and get another one. But... I took the job. I want to. I want to finish it. <laughs> uh, wrong button. There we go. Ah, sh was the wrong button. So yeah, I'm gonna try and recover this. Let's we'll see. I want to check that. Uh oh, what am I frozen here? Yeah, there she goes. Temp was going up there. Excuse me.
Well, I need to go through these names. Ambusions, are you still here? Do you, uh, let's see, did I, I know I have one for Antonio. Uh, no, I guess not. Why not? Oh, there we go. No, I don't have one for you. Are you do you stream visions if you're still there? No, I didn't give you. A, I didn't give you a shout out. I have. I tend to forget because I have uh, most of them automated. Uh, okay. Well, I'll add you to that. Uh, I'll add that event right here in just a second. That way you'll get a shout out when you. I don't think anybody was here when you first showed. So there's a couple other people now. Guys, go go give Vision, Visions a, a follow. How about you fellow streamers? 60, 83, yeah. I can add this, uh, this event here. Well, uh, let's see. I just find one. Do you stream primarily uh, Star Citizen, I'm guessing, or, or do you uh, stream Variety? I guess it doesn't matter. I'll pick one that's not really, uh, that's not that specific. He's got a box. Almost got this finished. Oh, yeah. Only I see, yeah. That's that's me. I I can't say I won't stream other stuff. I'm sure I will eventually, but I tend to do one game at a time, you know, and, until I burn out on it and then go to another game. And problem is, I don't think I'm gonna burn out on this game anytime soon. Every time I get burned out, they're gonna add something new with this three months. I mean, they're just now getting to the good stuff kind of thing. That's the problem with this game. 
just now getting to all the good stuff. So it's gonna <laughs> gonna be hard getting involved in another game for a, for any length of period, length of time, really. Box, dude. Oh, he and the guy with the box. Never mind. Have you have you heard the new box sounds? It, it's hard to hear because it sounds a lot like the footsteps. But it, once you stop, just listen. It, it, the box. It, it sounds like a loose potato in a Tupperware disc. You'll hear it for just a second longer after you stop walking. Go clatter, clatter, clatter in that plastic sounding box. It's really a good sound. Sounds like somebody threw a potato in there. I I could I could imagine the sound guy with a plastic tub rattling it, you know, and a microphone to make that sound. That's exactly what it sounds like. Dude, you're running into the walls, man. Open your eyes. Now, I know if I go to that one over there, it'll, it'll overheat me. Let's see if this one does. Seems to be going down. Yeah, still seems to be going up. Uh-oh, see, this is... Those are taking a lot longer than they were at, uh... At Port Ollie this morning. So they're still not... Up to snuff here in Louisville. Or... Arcor. Area 18. The wherever the heck I'm at. Hangar 4. They're giving me different hangar numbers each time, which seems, which I think is a good sign. <laughs> Before it was always Hangar 9, <laughs> and Hangar 9 was never the right hangar, <laughs> so I didn't like that. That's it, it's Hangar 4, right? So yeah, them giving me different odd, odd number hangers like this is a good sign. Hopefully that's fixed. This this will almost be a definitive. If the, the, if this one is here, that's two in a row that worked correctly. That that's yeah. Compared to yesterday, that's that's I won't say positive and definitive proof, but it's definitely a sign that it may be fixed. Yep, that is definitely a positive sign that they may have gotten all the ship spawning crap straightened out here. I just wanted to check that. Uh, yeah, only one G here in the in the hangar too. That's why it wasn't going up when I was just walking. So that's actually kind of neat. We know we know there's only one in this hangar anyway. I wonder if it's the same, but it should be. So reasonably, you can run out through the hangar, okay? Test this temperature. 
even though it does not seem to be higher anymore. This seems to be something that they've fixed. Nope, we're at 400 this time. See, if I were at a space station, took off quick and quantum, that means I wouldn't go as far as I should go. But cycling the power on and off puts you back at the 300. So yeah, that there's one of your, there's my variable right there that I was looking for. That is, that should have been 300. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but maybe they're they're saving the state of the of the ship. That would be my thought. But then, when you get a fresh ship from a destroyed claim, it should be at baseline, right? So yeah, I don't know. It's just let's see. Is this a This is a, uh, which one is it? There it is. This is a, uh, regular hanger, above hanger. Wait a minute, I don't know which one I'm headed for, do I? Yeah, I guess it don't matter. Get out of this planet. It's still kind of a long ride just to get out of Area 18, kind of like Lorville, but, or, yeah, Lorville. But I don't really mind that too much, as long as I can get in and out like today, it seems to be okay. Seems to be a lot better than it was. So that's a good deal. That's that's what I've been kind of waiting for. Been wanting to move here, but well, here that way I can split my time between here and Lorville, depending on whether I want to do FPS or. I'm guessing I can do combat missions here or on Lorville from here or from Lorville. Which I've kind of been getting into a little bit of more of the combat. So that's kind of fun. Not that I'm any good at it, but <laughs> I want to try some in this Freelancer. It's got a little better guns by default. Although, if you wanted to go to the fixed guns, you could get higher, better guns on the Titan. You could get one level four and two level threes as opposed to four level threes on this. So I'm kind of wanting to try them with these. It's by default, the, the Titan only has a one level three and, and two level twos. Well, this ship has four level threes so it should knock down knock them down that was my problem i just get tired i get i get bored of it you know i don't want to sit at, sit there and shoot at the same target for 20 minutes you know and it's like when i almost get the shield down and almost get ready to hit it i lose target and shields build back up you got to start over you know and it's like yeah it's just just not enough punch <laughs> not enough gusto in the in the guns to to make it it, it just it gets old it, it's just like too long a fight for one target so well that's the other thing is i i need to start looking at the different guns that that you can swap and buy and stuff cuz that would do a lot I don't know what the, I mean, I'm just going by defaults, and right now the the Titan does good. I mean, it's not a bad, you know, 
as far as maneuverability and everything, it's great. It's a little better than this thing for sure. But uh, but it just takes too long to kill a target with the default guns. That's kind of a thing for me. There it goes. I didn't know it would do that. I set that up after you, yeah, so yeah. Now anytime you come in and chat, it'll it'll do that. Give you a shout out. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I, I need to, I mean, I looked at them once for the tarantula, but, you know, I was just going by what somebody else used. And, you know, they're the heavier hitting guns. Oh, not a problem, man. I like automating stuff because, for one thing, I'm a lousy typist <laughs> and my fat fingers were not designed for a keyboard. But that I just forget, so, you know. So I like the automation. Anytime I can figure out how to make it work on its own, I'm, I'm good with that. I see, you can see the cooldown if you're pointing at something, but if you're trying to bring up like the uh, the waypoints on a planet from outer space, it does. You don't have a. Uh, you don't have that. You can't tell when the on long trips like across the solar system. You got you know 20 seconds of cooldown, and you're not sure why your B button doesn't work. As you can't see that cooldown. Just a minor quirk. I mean, it's no biggie for me. I know to keep pushing it, and eventually it'll it'll take. But a new player is going to think it's not working. Well, I, I heard, and I don't know if they'll be... I wish they'd get rid of that warning near restricted area. But yeah, I, I've heard that the attritions are really up right now, too. Now, whether they get nerfed a little bit later or whatever, I've, I've heard they were really up. So yeah, they, they, well... I, I don't know. I I was real close to. Uh, I'm real close to trading in my Titan for a, and and upgrading this to a Dur. But maybe not. I I got plenty of time. I think before I need the Dur. It is kind of nice to know it's got better or different weapons. It may be better. I'll have to try them though. I mean, I'll do missions until I get enough, you know, get some money ahead, and that's good. I can't see my distance here. I better slow this boat down. This thing doesn't slow down like that darn... Like the, uh... Titan does. But yeah, I get a little money ahead, I'll have to go see what they... What they charge them for. You get them on Hurston. Uh.
size threes, I'm guessing around 20k, 10 to 30, depending. Probably higher, higher side, so maybe 25, 30k. Seems like I bought some twos and threes, and they were 10 and 30, respectively. No, that was threes and fours, so they may not be. That may not. All right. Well, that well, I'll have to test it against this one. I'll, that means I'll have to do some some combat in this one, so I have something to compare it to better. Because I'm not. I, I wouldn't be able to say if they're better, worse than this one without knowing how how good this one was. Well, that MR is no longer there. It might have despawned by now, though. I'm going to park way back here. My landing mode. Not really landing mode, but just so I can see rocks. Got a car a ship coming in. I saw him flying over. This one doesn't take off on you, so. How far away am I? 100 meters? Further than I need to be, I'm betting. I'm gonna go unarmed. Maybe this guy won't kill me. I'm not as brave. He's in a bigger ship than I am. <laughs> 200, boy, I parked way too far away. Maybe, where's my... I'm not getting any chat, so I don't. He's in a freelancer, too. He's bound to be a nice guy if he's in a freelancer. I knew it. He's got a box. I'm unarmed. That was perfect. Well, I was unequipped, not unarmed. <laughs> uh -huh. It's still there. It's still there. My cargo is still there. Oh my god. I might be able to save this mission. Is my ship still there? Yep. <laughs> Can't believe that. I'm gonna have to walk forever to get back to my ship, but But see how far he was parked was probably about as close as you wanna get well see he's parked real right up here. So how come he made it and I couldn't? Aiming his guns at me. What's he in? Just a regular freelancer, same thing I am. I could have killed you when I wanted if I wanted to, buddy. Keep that in mind. Remember that. I could have shot you while you had a box if I'd have wanted. <laughs> he kills me, oh well. That'll actually be kind of funny. It'll, it'll reinforce the always shoot first and ask questions later that I normally live by in a PvP area. This is not a... And this isn't really a PvP-centric area, so... wonder what the buzzer is.
Well, that sure, that looks like I dropped it. Why didn't I, I actually hit the wrong one there? There we go. I don't know if it'll go through the floor or not if you drop it, but I always place it. He's out of here, he left. Got to be one of these buttons. Oh shoot! Keep forgetting that camera. At least I'm not now. Now I'm forgetting the camera, not the mic. That's. I guess that's a step up. My backward upright looks. I can't see the. Oh, there's there's my delivery right there. Thirty-five k. As long as it's not. Randomly at some odd number, that'll be fun. Nope, we're at 300. Glad I picked this one. It's a lot faster. Yeah, unfortunately, the it, the size once you get a size two quantum drive, the size ones are almost obsolete. Even 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 if you figure out how to get around the heat thing, they're still just slower. So yeah. I mean, I kind of bought the. I mean, that was I bought the uh, the Titan as a standalone kind of for the box missions because it's a lot easier to a lot more maneuverable whatever landing but with the speed difference it's it's not as effective so I don't really need it now maybe run up and up to and get a get a cutty out of it trade it up for a cutty eventually But I've just loved the the look of this thing. It just to me it looks great. Which one there it is. Even the uh the dur the dur isn't isn't bad the max i mean it it's probably more 
useful, particularly if you want to trade. I'm not real big in trading, but... I mean, I'm decent at it, because I don't mind taking notes and, you know, doing research, but it's just... There, there's not enough routes to be interesting right now. Maybe, maybe when they get more solar systems, trading will be a lot more involved than just going between two or three points and trading the same goods over and over. That and the, the risk of, of the investment, that, that's a big part of it. These missions here, I can make 10k an hour or better without a problem, without any risk. And I'm, I'm talking more disconnects and server issues than, than pirate risk. The, the pirate risk I don't mind. It, it's just, it aggravates me. I've done that on several, actually twice now. I've tried to do mining and lost everything I had or close to everything I had because of either a disconnect or server wouldn't sell the goods or you know some glitch prevented me from doing it the game itself prevented me from doing it and yeah that just that's like fighting an uphill battle if you ask me I just I didn't didn't enjoy that I lost it to pirates well that's that's game you know that's gameplay but when you lose it to bugs that that's kind of aggravating for me so I may do it more after it gets more stable and whatnot but right now I'm not that interested in, in trading <clears throat> not that I won't and I I love doing I love uh, running turrets like if you if you want to run some some goods tonight yeah I'll 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 run with you and, and do some trading if I get enough money to together to try it or 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 ride a turret you know that's that's fun too Turrets are great because you don't have to. You you can relax and not do anything unless you're being attacked, right? It's kind of like being semi AFK. You don't have to work too hard. <laughs> deadhead work. That's what we used to call it in the trade. Like painting. It's deadhead work. <laughs> it doesn't take any thinking at all. Which is not true of, of say painting. I didn't mean to say that all painting is that way. A lot of it is. Which is why most painters have a radio and drink a lot, in my opinion. <laughs> Talking about like house painters or commercial painting, not artist artistic painting. <laughs> I managed to salvage that mission and I put that box in that outpost and had to had to kill myself, it despawned my ship. So I, I stuck the box in the back room, went back and got it. Now I'm, now I'm headed to delivery. So this this mission's going to take a little longer than normal, but usually they're only about 30 minutes or so, 40 minutes maybe. Yeah, I'm going to run out to Hurston since... Since Visions was telling me 
since he, he said the attritions are the guns that are that he likes on these I'm not is the attrition a fast shooting gun or a slower one the ones I tend to use are, are like the M7s or M, M series bay rings or uh, what's the other uh, uh, what do you call them starts with an A and I got a blank on it oh wait this thing has one in it has them on the turrets Omni Skies it doesn't start with an A it starts with an M or O uh, the Omni Skies are the ones I tend to like to some extent doesn't this thing have it one of the ships I have has has Omni Skies I thought Uh, it's not updating and I'm not gonna worry about it. It may have been that Oh wait a minute. I have a uh... right, Now I can get out of there for a second. I do have a uh, List of the weapons, but it's the Omni Skies. Those are the ones I'd normally go for, but... That was in 3-4, and they, they're just mass damage per hit, which means it's less time on target. But with the new flight model and, and the new pips and everything now, I'm not sure that's the best way to go. So that's kind of why I'm just trying the default weapons. Like I say, I haven't done enough of the uh, combat to really know what I'm looking at, but... The only way you'll figure it out is to play with it, try different things, so... Better slow this boat down, huh? Okay, well, then they, they'll probably be all right. I haven't used this one for any combat, so I'm not really sure what, you know, in other words, the default guns may be fine. I know the default ones on that uh, Titan, sir, weren't. I mean, they just don't pack enough punch to do it. And I can see, you know, I'm hitting the target, and you know, quite often, but it just isn't doing any damage. And I'm like, man, that's just, that gets kind of old. So that's what I'm wondering if this one does a little better then then I might may, may not be able to hit them as often but if it's actually doing noticeable damage that's that's what I need I shoot at them for five minutes and haven't even you know it can't even tell that you've been doing anything is just Standing complete have a pleasant stay I'm just not. That that's not enjoyable to me. I mean, I, several times I you know I would finally kill a ship that I wasn't sure I could ever kill. You know, and, 
one time I actually I was doing a, it's not pirate swarm the vandal swarm I think it is and you know I was doing okay I was in the third fourth wave hadn't hadn't died or even had any damage or anything and then they finally took out my main gun that's that's what I want to see that's you know but they finally took out my main gun and at that point I ended up just exiting out of the the game I mean I was done there was no point in me trying to kill them with just the secondary guns and, you know the first time I just ran out of ammo well that was all right I continued around and finally killed one but my god it took I mean it was like 10 minutes of blasting away at this guy before I finally broke through his shields and destroyed him. I mean, it was just unbelievable. Time's insane. And then I got a little more ammo. And then no sooner than I got some more ammo for that kill than, than they took out the gun. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. So I tried for a while, but it was like I was, you know, 10 minutes later after shooting at this guy and just not even knocking the shields down, I, I exited. <laughs> and okay, I give. The Vandal would win if that's the only ship we have. <laughs> they would win the war if that was the best ship we had. So, yeah. Pay me. Pay me. I want to get paid. I want to get paid. Where's the darn? There we go. Object complete. Withdrawn. They didn't even fucking pay me. Oh, that's a pisser. I have not been paid more money than I have them in my account. Yep. They didn't pay me. Oh, wrong hanger. What wrong hanger was it? Four, I guess it was. We're sorry. You exceeded the allotted time to depart. Never mind. You have to return your ship to storage. I do that. You do that. Initiating ship storage procedure. Please, your safety, please, please do. Area. Thank you for your cooperation. Get on with it. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Ah, finally. Stored in Lyria. This is the kind of crap that gets me. Now I gotta claim it. That's a bug. I mean, I just landed here. It should be stored here. I ain't paying the fee for a bug. I, 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 that's... Just, just feels wrong. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Just feels like I'm getting gypped if I have to pay to... to correct a, an issue, a bug. Can't do it. Just won't do it. But yeah, I want to get a cost on those attritions. I normally don't have a problem getting money. But that's actually like the fourth or fifth one that got withdrawn that I've done in the last couple of days. Uh, 7k a plus that's quite a bit of money 
20, 30 grand I've lost in non-paying missions. I guess that's as good or bad, however you want to look at it, as, as getting DC'd with a bunch of cargo, so same difference, uh, similar difference, however you want to say it. at 313 and counting down so for some reason it's a little high not really enough to to mess with us uh, yeah let's go to let's go to Hurston since we're closest there a smaller ship Check out the cost of those attritions. But hell, like you say, I may, I may just want to try the, the ones that are on it, because I, I like them to hit. I mean, that's what I like. I, I like to see damage when I, even if I only flash that shield one time. I, I know different guns do different damage to shields too, so maybe that's, I need to get one that does more to the shields on that Titan. Astilia saying welcome. Welcome guys, you and your your rating. Uh it doesn't give me a shout out for that. No, it will if you talk. Hello guys, welcome. Just go and look at some uh any ballistic rounds, huh? Well, that kinda makes sense I guess. See, I'm not even that sure of which uh, ballistics are, are lasered, other than I know lasers don't run out of, out of ammo. So I tend to use lasers, which is... That's how I can look while I'm thinking about it, which guns the Titan has. So that's the uh, that's the ballistic, and that's the one that I actually. Hey, Astilius, good day. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Did you not? Uh, let's see. Wow. Guess I need to. Uh, give you a manual shout out for some reason I can't believe I don't have you in my events I know I do yeah ah I spelled it wrong okay let's edit that
There we go. Uh, doing good. Just, you know, save old, messing around and testing. I, I kind of figured out the testing and, and got the thing, got the heating and uh, uh, overheating on small ships and whatnot figured out with uh, Vusion's help. Vusion's been a great big help with that, showing me how the heat gauge and everything works. So we figured out how to, uh, I figured out uh, an approximate distance that you should be able to travel, you know, with with different ships. So, yeah, just silly tests. <laughs> silly tests that will probably change next version anyway. <laughs> Now I'm kind of going to look at some guns that I may try to put on the uh, Freelancer, or this one, or maybe this one, I don't know, we'll see. Oh yeah, it, anything, there it goes, I changed it, so it gave you another shout out. <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of neat that I can change that... Uh, the events and, and they they operate on the fly they work on the fly and that one was an auto shout out I that's yeah it should have worked which would have worked the first time except for my bad spelling <laughs> See, here's what I'm talking about. They really need some kind of indicator. There it goes. I had to hit the button three times before it would activate because of the cooldown, which, you know, I, I don't have a problem with. I know what it is, but a new player is going to think their button isn't working. There's no indicator for the cooldown, so... Yeah, same old, same old, just goofing off. I want to go price some, some size three and four attritions just to see. I haven't had much luck with my missions. I've had the last, out of the last four or five missions, I've only gotten paid one time. They keep uh, declining it after I return the box. I mean, stick the box in the thing and contract complete. Contract withdrawn. No money. <laughs> really? <laughs> now, if this were real life, I'd be all over you. That Koval Axe would, ha would not like me if this were real life. I guess I ought to go... S I ought to give her some gas. I'll go faster. Yeah, I'm not real fond of the fogging out the planets. I mean, they've got the planets fogged out like this. And I have to assume it's for performance. But here's this gorgeous city, and I can't see diddly shit. All I can see is a bunch of fog. They'd, I noticed the same thing this last patch or two at uh, Arcor. I mean, they, they've just... They've added so much fog or, or, yeah, weather effects my butt. It, whatever it is, it's, it's, it's obscuring the view of the great graphics that I love this game for. I mean, you know, it used to not be this way. You used to come in, I'm not, a, this isn't night. This is, you know, <laughs> I used to have, I, I remember that, I agree, but since the last two days, I mean, I'm talking about since like Friday, I haven't, and that's the problem, I mean, I haven't seen it clear anywhere, but then maybe it's, maybe it's just my luck, maybe it is the time of day or whatever, just my luck.
Hey, Titan. Uh, doing good? Just trying to figure out a couple of things. Playing. Silly Tess. Yeah, maybe it is the night. Maybe I'm just... It just seems like every time I've flown into here or our court, it's not the city that I remember. I mean, I don't, I don't have that, oh wow feeling, you know, flying up to the city. It, it, it seems obscure, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, that's I'm that you're you're calling it a bug, but I'm not sure it's a bug. I, you know. It's, it's been all, you know, last night and, and today, again today, I've already been to Art Corp once, and it was the same way. It was blurred out to where you could barely see it. Yeah, well, then it, in that case, it definitely was a bug, for sure. And I don't think that's a bug. That's it may just be the daytime, but I mean, you know, you can see it okay halfway now, but it's still, you know, the buildings out there are just shadows. You know, that's that's not the high-end fidelity graphics that uh, you know that I'm used to seeing, because you can't see them. They're obscured by the fog or but it could be the time of day maybe I've just been completely unlucky for a couple of last couple of days hopefully I mean I, I know I've seen I've seen developers do that and they'll you know they'll they'll add a little bit of fog or something which actually improves their graphics performance right you know it's you know the fog is only one light texture that they can easily display without any hard hit on the and it tends to hide those high fidelity textures that take a lot of resource so I've seen them do that before but yeah I bet I bet you're right I bet it's just the time of the day or whatever that I'm doing it at Landing complete. Still got to shut this thing down. This is, it's on the known bugs list. Some ships float off, float up after you land. Apparently, the Titan is one of them. Yeah, I'm sure they will. It, if anything, they just they did it till they could get some optimization in there, or, or it's just a glitch, <laughs> or they changed something else that affected the weight of the some setting there, or so, you know, it could be any number of things. That's why I'm not a coder. I don't understand all that. Huh? Can I get that? Yeah. These elevators, sometimes the inside one doesn't work for me. Only about half the time is the inside one not actually there. Sometimes you just run into it. Got to wait for the door to close and then open it again. A little bit of popping going on. CPU humming. Loading all this in. That's still... 
Hey, that isn't great FPS. Oh wow, dip, dip, good, big dip there. But even still, I'm u I'm used to averaging, you know, twelve, fifteen in here before in three, four. If I were to go back to three, four, and it would never clear out. Hey guys, don't argue, man. Peace out, peace out. You know, go in the back room, burn one or something. Still taking a little while for the store to change, but we're good. All right, what was I doing? Uh, business district, that's where we're going. I can figure out how to get there. <laughs> well, I I do. I love it. It's just right now it it just seems like it's it's uh fogged out to where you can't really see it. That you know, they they've got I, whether it's intentional or or just coincidental. Not the green one, right? Yeah. There's so much fog or or you know, whatever you want to call it, fog look. To where you can't see the city. I mean, when, now it may have been the time of day. That's what uh, Asilius was suggesting. Is that it's just the time of day, or or, or whatever. But but it it's the last. It seems like the last couple of days here, and and in uh, uh, area 18 of our corp seem like they're just all fog. You can't see them. You can't see the city. I mean, you know, all you see is, is a layer of fog with something that looks like shiny lights under it. You can't actually see the buildings or anything else until you get right up on them. And I don't, you know, at first I was kind of thinking they did that intentionally, but I, I think Astelius is right. It, it's probably either a side effect from something else they changed or, or they might have, might have dialed it up just a little bit to help with performance until they could optimize better. Which to me, like in our corp, in, in our corp it is still pretty hefty resources. But hell it is here too, but then after it gets loaded, I'm doing good, I mean. And I, I don't have a great PC, you know, you can see my specs down there. I'm, I'm, I'm running a modest PC for this game, for sure. It, it, that's almost what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a fog of war. But to me, I don't want that over a city that I want to be able to see. You know, I I, I love the look of like Arcor when you're flying over. I don't want to see a fog of war that's that's you know hazing it out to where I can't see it. But I'm sure that'll get tweaked and, and adjusted out if, if it wasn't just some happenstance I, like I say I was probably I've probably just been unlucky and showing up right at dawn or dusk or whatever to where that's that's an issue and when I pulled in here yeah you 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 could only see half of from from inside of Lorville and what Lorville does and and, and I get that it's supposed to be you know, heavy pollution and everything. But what about our court? I mean, when I was there, it was the same way. You could, you couldn't see very. You couldn't see the buildings far away at all. In fact, Lorville here. What I was going to say was, I was literally over top of the airport, and I couldn't see the outer edge of the city. I mean, that's how foggy it was. And I mean the main part of the city. I couldn't actually see, you know, the, like where the gates are. I could not see where the gates are. That, that was fogged out entirely. And that's it. But it may have just been the time. But I don't know. It still looks pretty pretty hazy. Yeah, it might have been the time. See, I guess it's the sun's coming up. So it might have been pre-dawn. That's, that's why maybe I've just been lucky in, in hitting, hitting that pre-dawn or after-dusk light that 
that would be foggy. So that that's probably what it is. Well, yeah, and and I agree with you, particularly as far as the lore goes. But on the other hand, that's not going to... People aren't going to wear the bags. They're just going to keep their armor on, right? And that's, you know, they don't really want that. They want variety. They don't want people running around in the cities with their armor on. That's all I do. I mean, I don't... <laughs> I don't I don't wear the bag thing. You know, why, why would I change into that unless it's to put on uh, clothes, right? But if you're gonna have to ruin the effect of clothes with some ugly condom looking bag, then people aren't gonna bother. They're just gonna wear their armor. So I don't know. I mean, I agree with you on the lore. That's the way it should be. It should be zero visibility is gonna be hard to do. Because then people can't get can't come and go. And, but yeah, I think they should have varying degrees of visibility down to almost zero. Maybe not zero, but almost zero. And and then uh and yeah, I think they should have air quality days where you would choke to death. I agree with you there. Whether they do that, like I said, just for gameplay reasons they may they may fudge a little bit of those. What was I? Oh, yeah, the gun. Someone going the wrong way. Uh, you know, they may fudge a little of those just to help with the gameplay, but we'll see. And our corp is definitely supposed to be pollute, polluted, right? So. All right, yeah. Louisville, not our corp. I think I said that wrong. So yeah, I guess I agree with you. I'm just not sure how much of that they're actually going to do when it comes to... Let's see. I'm going to jot this down so I can come back and get them. When, when, if I decide I need them. I guess I should write down the two just in case. Well, those aren't bad prices at all. Let's see what other ones. I have attritions and dominance. Laser scattergun. I don't really care about laser scattergun. And they got the Veripox, which is cool. All of those. Okay. That was all I was really... That That's the only objective I had. Let's see, that's the way I... I know y'all are gonna say, y'all are gonna say it, but I don't care. That's one big fucking gun. I don't care if that's what she says or not. No, wait. That's one big fucking gun. <laughs> oh no. Oh, come on. Did you see that? Hey, where's where's the management, man? That glass case just broke my leg. 
I want that on my Aurora. Oh, it's three guns, isn't it? I thought it was one. Can I not buy it here? There we go. Attrition five. Is that the six? Tristan six, fifty one K. The only other ones I would, I'm, I'm really. Welcome. Are the Bayring uh, M series and Omni Skies, and I'll bet they're reasonably similar prices. There's a train. I'll never make it. I'll never make it. I'm too slow with this heavy armor. Run, Forrest, run. Slide. I don't care. Just get there. <laughs> I made it easy. I didn't think I'd make it that far. Yeah, I'm kind of price shopping. Uh, just price shopping for different uh, weapons. And then I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna try out some different weapons and, and see what I do. I, I'm not real good at combat, space combat or anything. But I've been starting to try it, so I guess I need to figure out the weapons a little bit at least. Since that's obviously a big part of it, I I I tried uh, like Vandal Swarm this past weekend and a couple other uh, just some combat in here, mostly with just like uh, interdictions and things. And I, I'm doing I I can do okay even with the uh, Titan, but boy, it just takes forever and a day to kill anything with that. With the default guns. So. I'm gonna try and upgrade some guns and change some guns. Maybe do, try different types of guns. Taking suggestions. Vision <laughs> uh, suggested uh, the attritions on the freelancer, so I kind of just priced those. Is all I was doing. I don't. Don't have don't have enough extra cash to actually buy any right now. I am coming in from the wrong direction from where I'm normally coming in, aren't I? I did something wrong, I know I did. I 
I know I did something wrong because I'm lost. Really should have a sign right there. There's a turn there with no sign that tells you that's the way you need to go for the metro station. Yeah, yeah, I've I've actually got that uh, got that on my uh, you know bookmarks. I I got the hard points. I mean that that's not a problem. It just, and and yeah, that that side will help me determine what guns I need. Once I determine what guns I need, I mean, in other words, I don't really know if I need harder, I, I think I want harder hitting, slower weapons than, say, like a Gatling or a fast shooting, lower damage weapon. But I haven't done enough combat to really even know for sure what I need, you know. So, yeah, yeah, I, I'll definitely be using that website. Size, I've already, I mean, I already figured out how to find the size. I'm, I'm just, you know, I've, I've been playing the game not that long, what, you know, since November, early November. So, you know, five, six months is all I've had to game, and, and I haven't done any real combat, space combat. I just, so, you know, I'm completely new to this whole thing and have no idea what the guns are. Like, like those attritions, I don't know, I don't know the fire rate, or... See, the, ta the tachyons I haven't even heard of. The Omniskies are one of the two. The M-Series and the Omniskies are, are the two that I'm kind of looking at. And then, uh, uh, Fusions was uh, telling me the attritions are really good. Uh, on the uh, freelancer, so I, you know, I, I price those. But yeah, I'm gonna try the M series and the Omni Skies, at least pricing them, and those are probably some that that I'll use. As far as that hardpoint IO, now I haven't looked at it since the new guns, but those were the two hardest hitting guns. They're also the slowest firing, right? Because, you know, and that's common in any game, you know, the, the more damage, the slower refire. And, you know, that's just common, right? But. Now arriving, piece of space. So the, the attritions are, are lasers that may run, that'll overheat it or run the power out. Is that what you're getting at with that? And I'm not really sure what you mean <laughs> by head and power generation. I'm, I'm guessing you mean like the original, that they're lasers and may run the power down? But yeah, that that would be an issue too. Well, so are the Omni Skies though. They're they're lasers. I know that. I'm not sure about the M M series Bay Rings. Those are just two. The only reason I I say those I'm I'm is because right. But I'm guessing ballistics would be less apt to run you out of power or overheat your main engines. I mean, I'm just guessing, but not sure. 
Yeah, see, like the Omni Skies and the M series, I'm not certain what those are even. I just know uh, one of one of my favorite streamers. Those are the ones he always prefers. So, you know, and I do know they're. You know, if you look at that IO uh, uh, hardpoint IO, I do know that they are. Uh, wow, did I did I claim that back there? I guess I did. Right. Uh. Well, I do know, uh, like the Titan, can I get through? No. The Titan has uh, the primary gun, the main center gun is uh, ballistic, and the other two are laser. The only reason I know how to do, I know that, is because in that Pirate Swarm, Vandal, I think it's the Pirate Swarm, the Vandal Swarm I was doing, it kept running out of ammo, and I'd, I'd have to fly through, you know, the the ammo loot thingy to get for it to start working again but the others continued working so I'm pretty sure that you know the the secondary guns are lasers and the primary is ballistic but it's also a size bigger uh, I do know those number two lasers don't do shit that they, they're they're a waste of time you may, I'm, I could take those off and throw them away and wouldn't miss them a bit they would not do a thing to those those AI. Literally wouldn't even take their shields down. Once I once I lost that main number three gun, I was done. I logged out. I quit playing. There was no point. I mean, I, I could have stayed there forever and I wouldn't have been able to kill them. So, yeah, I definitely do need to figure out something that'll, you know, I run out of ammo or not. I, I need to do some damage if I'm shooting, otherwise it's just senseless. But I'll have to definitely have to look at that uh, website a little better to check it out. Oh, I'm not saying longer. I'm saying it was not doable. Without the main gun, I was done. I, I shot at one target and for 10 minutes and never even, I mean, never even you couldn't even see that I was doing damage to the shields. There was no visible damage whatsoever. Ten minutes of firing, no damage on one target. That's when I logged out. I well, fuck, I'm done. You know, without that main gun, it just wasn't doing shit. It, it's, it's not a matter of taking longer. It's a matter of I don't think it would have been possible. So, yeah, I, I don't get it. But of course, maybe it's because I'm lousy shot to start with. I mean, but I was hitting them quite a bit of times. I mean, I was I was getting good hits on them, you know, consistent and, and good hits. But they wasn't even knocking the shields down. So without, you know, you're not going to destroy them if you can't take their shields down. It'd be like, an, like, it'd be like a, you know, Aurora shooting at a, at a hammerhead. There's just no point in it. <laughs> and that's where I ended up after I lost that that one main number three gun. It just felt like there was no point in even continuing. It was taking so long, and, and I couldn't see. You know, after ten minutes, I, you know, I should at least see some damage. If I'd have seen any kind of damage, then, you know, if it felt like even if I was getting there and then he was recovering, 
you know, and, and almost there, and then I'd have kept going. But no, you know, I was 10 minutes and saw no shield go down at all in 10, in 10 minutes. I'm like, either this is impossible or it's so impossible that I'm never going to do it. You know, it may be possible if somebody can hit every shot and stay on target the entire time, but that ain't me. So, yeah, that, that was, the, it was, it, for me, it was literally undoable. Now this thing, from what Vision says, hits like a tank, but they won't let me take it in there. I did do, uh, they won't let me take this one into the thing. I'm supposed to have, and here's another one that kind of irked me, is I have the uh, Hornet as a loner. I'm guessing for Air Commander, right? But it wouldn't let me take that one either. The only ship I could take, though I had two options for the Vandal Swarm. That was my Avenger and the Hawk that I happened to have for the subship, right? The Hawk is pretty nice, even though it's a, you know, small ship like, like the Avenger, it, it actually did pretty good. I, I made it to, I don't Swarm number seven or eight? No, it was, I, I got into eight, uh, wave eight. And it was only nine, so you know, so I got almost to the end with the, with the, uh, uh, hawk, the anvil hawk, yeah, the sub ship. But with the Titan, yeah, you're all right. I mean, I was progressing, but I only made it to like wave one or two, maybe three. I think I was in three when they finally took out that nose gun and. And I said, to hell with it, I'm done with that. Because, yeah, there there wasn't any any continuing reasonably after after that nose gun was gone. It's just not a big enough ship for it. But I'm like, why did they give me a loaner for... I, yeah, I, they gave me 20k uh, uh, rec for a subscription. But I haven't actually figured out how to buy anything every time. I, I mean, it won't let me. Keep saying, you know, even if I, the only things, well, I haven't looked at the weapons, so maybe I can look at that. But yeah, there, there for a while, it, it wasn't even showing up until the PU until 3.5 PU. Now it's showing up. Oh, let me do this while I got the camera off. Uh, so, yeah, I, I can I can do that. I can try to uh, rent some in, in, in Air Commander and try that. That's a good idea, actually. That'll give me a real... That'll give me... Because then I can try a lot. A lot of testing real fast on the guns, right? I can try the default guns and then turn around and try the other some others right afterward, and and that would be a good way to compare what uh, what I like. You know, cause that's my problem. I, you know, everybody uh, maybe I, it's evenings are you know it's it's just it depends on whether we have company and and you know what the wife's doing because you know our, our living room is literally I mean I'm sitting in the living room where the TV is and it's not very big <laughs> so if my wife's watching TV or we have company or you know anything like that I, I can't talk I can play I just can't use voice or I can but I don't want to I don't want to bother other people I, I get too many huh you talking to me? <laughs> you know, every time I say something, it's it's. Oh yeah, they'll change again. That's why I was saying we're doing all this silly testing. Like I, uh, Fusion's helped me figure out some some stuff on the quantum travel and the overheating. Uh, 
you know, learned quite a bit about how that works and how the heating works and, and some other random stuff that, that can affect it. But, you know, it's like the guns. I People can sit there and suggest different guns to me, but until I even know whether I want, say, fast guns or, light, you know, slow guns or, you know, I don't know enough about my own play style to, to know what guns I need, so other people really can't make valid suggestions either, you know, it's until I can say, oh, I like the fast shooting guns or the slow shooting guns because they hit harder, you know, I can't even say which I like yet or which is better for me. So, yeah, you're right, the Air Commander doing it in the uh, Air Commander may be the Arena Commander may be the maybe the easiest way. I I kind of suspect I'm gonna want the the heavy hitting guns, the the least time on target guns. That that's kind of what I'm looking at trying to start with. And the other thing I want to do is match the velocity of the of the guns reasonably well in other words now this ship it it only has size threes that's simple you, you know so i can i can outfit it pretty easy with different size guns and try it out but the way the pips work because they're merged it means it's not really right for either guns that you're using right if you have two kinds of guns you know you're gonna have to shoot to the front of the pip if you're using the fast, the slowest gun, and to the back of the pip, if you're using the faster gun. So the idea is, it, like the Titan has two different size weapons, then I want both of them, even though they're a size three and a size two. I want to try and match the firing or the speed or whatever it is that they're merging, so that there's less merge span if you know what I I'm sure that's not a correct word but yeah yeah exactly and that's the problem I don't even know that you know I don't know you know can I hold a target on pip and eh, not really you know <laughs> You know, can I time my shot? Eh, not really. So now what? I just got to try both and see which ones feel better, you know. Yeah, that's exactly my point. I don't really even know which what my play style is. So nobody can really, you know, give me informed, you know, advice. Because I'm, I'm uninformed. I can't give them the, the information they would need without that it, it's just you know so yeah i'll just have to i'll just have to play with it some more i'm still new i'll get it hopefully i'll be an expert by the time it releases <laughs> or at least be able to hold my own that's all i'll, I'll be happy if i can just hold my own <laughs> i wish they hadn't taken out the ecn missions because those are what I was using as a standard. I was, you know, okay, can I do the ECN missions, you know, and without taking a lot of damage? Or can I do the ECN missions easy as pie? And that was my comparison. At the time, like the Cutlass, this was in the PTU, which is where I normally try all these different weapons and everything. Except I didn't, didn't this last time because I wasn't really doing the combat. But, you know, the Cutlass, I do real good on. Yeah, they, okay, the Delta in Velocities, that's, a, that's what I was trying to say about rain span of, of merging, because, you know, they've, they've merged them. Sucker punch. I'm going to write that down. Because that may be an option. 
The other thing, I mean, just knowing which gun is faster or slower will help me. Because right now, I don't know. I mean, you know, that's why I'm thinking for right now, I, I, may, I may start using the Freelancer, but they won't let that in the Arena Commander. But for some reason, that's what I was saying. I couldn't even use the... They give me the loner, supposedly, from what, you know, Hearsay has told me, is for the uh, Arena can Commander. You know, I have a Hornet... Hornet. Right, right. The sec that's what... Yeah, I, I've heard of those, and, and that may be a good option to, to just use two separate guns and... Right, I got two triggers and know how to do that. I'll, I'll be right back. I gotta let the kids out. Dogs, I mean. What happened? I thought I'd already made this jump. But... Must not have. Yeah, I'm not sure about the guns, but there, there's something I haven't really even bothered with too much. It's, you know, obviously it's not my primary, you know, thing, but... That doesn't mean you don't need need some, you know, some ability to defend yourself and whatnot. But yeah, for some reason, why why can't I use the uh, the Hornet and? Arena Commander. You know, I, I, from what I've heard just hearsay, that's why I have it. I mean, I, I don't own a Hornet. I just, it showed up when I upgraded to the Freelancer here. So, you know, and that's what I had been kind of told and made sense to me. So I believed it was that it was a loner for Arena Com Commander. But then when I tried to play Arena Commander this past weekend, it wouldn't let me use it. And the only two that were available were the, uh, were the, uh, Titan and the, uh, uh, the Anvil Arrow, or Anvil Hawk, one of them, whichever one is the sub-ship, sub-monthly sub-ship. We got some visual glitches going on. And where is where is there we go. Got some spawn in issues too.
So yeah, I'm just going to price a couple of guns for now and look at them. And I may go, I may do that. I may go to, to, uh, to Arena Commander and see if I can figure out how you buy the weapons and equip them in that. Because that would be easier. Somebody's fighting. Actually, I ought to go out and try it. Yeah, I better land first, huh? <laughs> Always land first. Dang! Somebody's doing a lot of suicide. I don't normally auto land, but what the heck? Act. How am I blocking an active flight bay? B -b -b -bay. Sorry. I haven't even landed yet. <laughs> Oh, where are all they? Watch me do lousy here. Get rid of that. Oh wait, no, I need to get rid of that. There we go. Quit, quit playing with that. That's my boy. My frame rate's taking a hitting with this. See the arrow. Why am I not getting? Oh, wait, I'm hitting the wrong ones.
keep saying target friendly, I'm hitting red ones. this thing. Oh, it's a Connie. Shit. I guess I should wait till I get there. Arrows, they're hard to hit. I'll give them that. Pip's not even in the same zone. Pip's not even in the same darn zip code. Where you going? Back here. Two pips. I only got one gun to gun. And he disappeared. I got no arrow. He's he's there but he's not. Huh. Still shows him. That's a different one. Am I missing it? There it is. Must be somebody else coming. Hacklebone. Why did my pip go away? Guess he's running. It's a trick. Lead me out here to kill me. And the pip just goes away. How can how can they change direction that fast? But I can't. And he's 14k away. Okay. 
guys. There's got to be something glitchy about that. I guess I'm going to quit chasing him. Right, got to go let the dogs in now.
know if there's anything I can help you with.
and incomplete. Pleasant stay. Dang it! Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out where the uh, Omni Skies and the Bay Ring M series might be. That's annoying as hell. I don't know why anyone thinks that some. Noisy ass siren, isn't it? Thank you, Visions. I, I, hey, I didn't forget the camera that time. Back, back to my original forgetfulness. What I run into? Oh, darn. Nobody saw that. Look the other way. Nothing to see. It's all good. I meant to do that. <laughs> Except the attritions at our court. That may be. Let's give it a shot. Because that's, that's... I'm not even... At this point, I'm not really even looking to buy them. I just want to price them. Just for the fun. Just because I like writing lists. 
then, then if I decide what I need, I'll, I'll know where to get them. And, ooh, a bad guy. Oh no, I'm not with him. He's in another freelance. I thought it might have been a the AI, but I don't think that's AI. Ah, uh, wrong buttons. Actually, this eight minutes might be just as good a time as any. Uh, wrong line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make me a sandwich. It'd be probably done by the time we get there. Let's go with that screen. <laughs>
Should be all set now. I got coffee, water, <laughs> snack. That was the wrong button. Yeah, I can hit a B, and there's no indicator of why it isn't working. There it goes. And I know it's just the cooldown, right? But there should be some kind of indicator if you don't have it on that it's still on cooldown. Yeah, see, I don't think this, this, this is what I'm talking about, the, uh, is Triton still, this, this is what I was talking about, the, uh, the cloudy. I mean, heck, I can't even see where the city is. I guess that's the city there. Yeah, that's definitely cloudier than it used to be. Let me take a look at this while we're headed there. I see, uh... That's what I'm saying, neither have I. This is new. Snap to so it's something in the settings. Ah, yeah, but see, uh, yeah, I'm only, I mean, I'm 35k out. I know when this first came out in PU, from this distance, you could see all those buildings. <laughs> and yeah, you know, now all of a sudden it's it's all obscured by this fog. Now. Maybe, like in, I, I was saying that at Lorville, but it was at dusk, you know, pre-dawn or, or whatever, so that's probably why. Maybe it's the same thing here. Maybe I just keep getting, you know, the wrong, wrong thing. Uh, that's kind of what, maybe... You know, I, I kind of don't like it, but I, I you know, you, you got to put up with it, especially like light lead. What did that, what did that say? That was something assist. Snap hip to assist. It's on by default. So am I supposed to turn that off? Okay, yeah, leave it on, right, okay. Yeah, well, that must be a default, because I didn't, I didn't, that's not one of the few that I changed. 
The only thing I change on this page is the show hints. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the only thing I, I do. I do turn off the hints. Yeah, okay. I just want to, so you know maybe I'm just completely be, been unlucky since the last two patches, but that sure seems a lot lot foggier than it was when PTU came out. <laughs> So yeah, I, I hope that's just me, it's, or timing or whatever. Cause yeah, I mean, that's a beautiful city. I can't see. <laughs> yeah. But this is the second time today I've arrived to this cloudy, foggy looking. Yeah. So that's just. You know, I, I'm guessing maybe they did it a little bit, like you say, for a performance boost until they could get it optimized, things like that. That's kind of what I thought originally, but... But, I mean, I know, I know when I was flying over, it, I don't remember it looking like this. In early PTU, it, it wasn't like this. You could see those buildings, clearly, you know. But it may be the time of day. There on Lorville, I thought it was the same way. But then, then I, you know, as I was riding the train, I realized that it was just barely daybreak, and so I was coming in at pre-dawn, at you know that pre-dawn hour, and maybe that's what the fog was from, you know. I didn't think to turn around, turn around and look on my way out to see if that was the case, though, unfortunately. I'll bet it is, because if you look, the light's kind of sideways. I'll bet it's like a pre-dawn or a post-dusk. It's just the way the lighting is when it's when the sun isn't quite up right. Trying to make it look dim. You know, lit, but dim. I'm sure they don't want to hide all that high fidelity behind a bunch of clouds either. <laughs> you know, I, I have to assume that that was, that it's either the lighting or something that they're working on. Cause yeah, I don't think they, they don't, they don't want to obscure all this that they've spent this much time in any more than we want them to, I think. Usually I'm on this side, so let's see. Apparently I'm not close. There it is. For some reason I always have to get closer before I can find it. Look out, tower. Almost ran into that darn antenna or whatever it is. Wrong key there, wasn't it? Wonder I'm hitting the wrong keys. Fingers are wrong. Somebody missed. Hey.
and incomplete. Have a pleasant stay. I see. Where are the guns here? In that AC building, maybe? I think. I've seen them. I've been there once before. Oh, they're up in the elevator. They're in that AC building upstairs, up that elevator. One of those buildings up an elevator. I remember that. Yeah, 40 FPS. In Art Corp, in Area 18, that's pretty good. 45 in the elevator. Not much to display in an elevator. <laughs> Now, before it was really scary because, like I said, if I stopped, it wasn't certain that the that the my heart rate would go down. Now, now it seems to be working right. That that's cool. Now I'm not so scared to run around here. I mean, I understand I got the heavy armor, and that's gonna gonna run it up. Even though I'm only using parts of it, I have to assume they. They give me the penalty for it, which is fine. You know, I'm not not at all complaining, and even about the idea that, you know, I I do have the the torso and the helmet are heavy armor, so the uh, arms and the legs are medium, but there should be you know a penalty for using the heavy armor it's great in a fight but it, you know it it shouldn't be as easy to walk around in so i i kind of like the idea that it it hits on your stamina when you walk in but like i say see like i just stopped and now my heart rate is trying to go up yeah it's actually climbing slowly I would die if I just stayed here. And that's a bug. <laughs> nah, it's trying to go back down. That's good. But it was a lot worse. It was, you know, anywhere I stood in this city, it was going up. I just don't understand why. Well, it was, it was very, very bothersome, worrisome to walk around in this city before. idea that that it's uh that's better that that makes me feel a lot better about coming here and being spawned spawned here it was literally before it was so bad that it was it was 50 50 if i could make it to my ship and get in my ship to even try and leave without dying I 
did I did break my leg once today, which is one of the things they supposedly had worked on. I didn't look to see if they have any of those. Uh, no, nah, that's the PTU. Huh? They won't have a mandatory whatever thingy. Or PU. Or voluntary regression list. You know, what broke my leg? How to check that? Yeah, the voluntary regression list or whatever that we do for the uh, PTUs. They don't have that for PUs. So. I guess I better check those. <laughs> I used a couple of them. Yeah, but that that they I thought they had that in the list that that that, that was one of the things they were working on was you wouldn't. Why has changed? Uh oh. I've had this before in the PTU too. It's not ever going to load because it says change pending. Which means I can't load any more uh, med pens. I'm going to have to re-log before I can get med pens. So let's hope I don't break another leg. It's the uh, R Corp Armada, isn't it? One of these buildings. One of these buildings right here, and it's one of these two. I'm thinking. Must be the other one. Pretty building, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be or why is it. Welcome center maybe. This is the one I was thinking it would be in. It's the one with the hawk in it, so. And also, I guess it's also the admin building. Yeah. So I'm thinking there's an elevator in the back here that we can go up. And that's where, uh, let's see. Center mass, yeah. Okay. Found it. <laughs> hey. Come on, goddamn it. Let me get up here to this terminal. Then kill me if you want. And there's nothing else up here, unfortunately, but center mass. Uh, center mass is just a, an arms dealer, I guess. Sells different kinds of arms as opposed to a Hurston Dynamics building that only sells the uh, Hurston Dynamics. At least I think that's the way it's supposed to work. I won't swear to it. Weapons. Let's see a uh, code of my. Let's see if those uh, new ones are here.
Something code a pistol, so I don't see it yet. And the other ways. SMG, but I'm pretty sure none of those are it. So I'm guessing the new. Uh, let me see what the ones were. I'm guessing there are n the new uh, weapons are not available here. Uh, hand weapons. Yeah, Gemini S71 looks like an SMG or a rifle of some kind. S so uh, there it is. It just says S. Yep, there it is. So there's one of the new ones right there. Sure is. Let's see what's the other one. That was the new one. Castock Arms Coda. So it may not say Coda, huh? Okay, these guys, no, there's a different one. I was going to say, these guys only have caustic arms, but they're some ugly. All right, well, we were looking at uh, this. Definitely have a ton of, ton of weapons here. Yep, here's the M series. So I want to kind of write those down just so I know what I'm looking at when I decide what I need or what I like. Let's see. I'll write all, all of these. But those are attritions are a lot more expensive than these. Or, yeah, the attritions are actually a lot more expensive than these. Anybody's wondering. Nine, nine. Can't write. Nine, four is a twenty five. And do they have the, uh, yeah, they also have the Omni Skies. There they are. Very good, Musings, you were right. They had both of the ones I was looking for, for sure. Teaser 35. Don't ask me why they're not in order. So the M series are the most expensive by a good bit. Hmm. Wonder if I should get one of those new rifles. Might as well, huh? Might as well try it. I'm dying, aren't I? Yep. He's a beauty, ain't he, buddy? I'd like to have that stacked onto your R. Uh, nobody over here at this desk? The desk? No, just a planner. Heck, you know what? I do like it.
Oh, that should be good. Um, what am I doing? Uh, That should be good. I might use that for a, a scene. Heart rate, go down. There we go. I didn't think to look to see if I was dying there when I was tilted. Yeah, a little bit. I, I it's I like it. I, I like the uh, the guns. Uh, the default guns on it are a lot better than that uh, Titan for sure. Uh, it's it's not great, you know. Of course, I'm a lousy shot and all that. I'm not talking about that. But but what I'm saying is, when I hit somebody, I could tell I hit them. You know, they it did a little damage to their shield or whatever, and it was. It was noticeable. That that's that's my biggie. Well, that was really all I wanted to do there. Just test that darn. Uh, check that. So I guess I'm ready to go do some more goofing around with the uh, combat because I don't know. Yeah, I, the that what I I. It's slower moving, you know, aiming or whatever, but I don't care. I, so long as it does something when I hit them, that, that Titan, boy, I just, it just seemed like you, seemed like I was using spitballs, you know, not, not, not getting anywhere, you know. But yeah, even the default weapons are pretty damn nice on that one. I'd still like to know why I couldn't use the, uh, why I couldn't use that darn, uh, uh, Hornet. I mean, I haven't even flown it, because I don't do combat here in this thing, right? So what I tried to do the, uh, the Arena Commander over the, over the weekend, I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. It's not selectable. All right, well. What's the point in giving me a loaner for Arena Commander and then not letting me use it in Arena Commander? I'm, now I'm confused. So I don't know. I do know it. I do know it's for sure a loaner. Uh, you know, for the uh, for the freelancer because that's when it showed up. You know, that's when I got it. Was the day I bought the freelancer, it showed up. So I know that for a fact that that's it. That it is a. Why am I dying? Yep, I'm dying. Stopped in the wrong place. Maybe it's not as good as I thought it was. Maybe it just need, needed to get some shader caching or whatever built up. I'm at yeah. I'm at four and a half hours close close to it. I do realize, you know what? I just kind of realized something. I've been going four and a half hours and haven't haven't had any crashes, have I? That's pretty nice. Not bad at all. And if I can out get to my suit. I bet I can't. Yeah, the last time I had this happen. Oh, wait, wait. Change pending. Maybe it's just telling me it's taking long to. Well, I can get to it. Hmm. Now that's the main thing. Pin to that. Yay. Now at least I might make it if I 
Break another leg. <laughs> cool. This is our fifth element, it's crazy. Fifth element in my city. I'm, yeah, I'm just on regular best server. I'm going to guess that that's uh, a U.S. server, considering where I'm located. I mean, I'm pretty close to the center of the country. to quit looking at it, but yeah, I'm still doing pretty good. I mean, that, that people's, I guess if, uh, you know, people that insist on 60 FPS, 4K won't like it, but I'm happy with it. Considering my moderate PC and this is about next gen a game as you can imagine, right? If you think about the term next gen games, you can't really say there's anything next gen or after this one. <laughs> I think that specifically normally applies to, to like consoles, doesn't it? Who cares? <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm what I'm doing. Oh, I guess we're just gonna test and I I I got I got out of here. Yeah, I'm still dying. So now I'm getting that I'm getting that effect back. There we is that going down? Come on, going down. Nope, we're still going up. I might be screwed. What happened? There we go. Yeah, see, now it's starting to do it again. That's what I was getting before, and I mean that can be deadly. <laughs> Trust me, that'll kill you. <laughs> I still got to be very, very, very careful. And it's going up at the console. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Now hurry up and tell me which one. Or I die of a heart attack. Die of anxiety here. Yeah, I'm definitely bugged here again. Oh, you'll die from it. Here, I, I guarantee. If I, if I, yeah, if you're running, It'll only pass you out. Let's see if it's got to do it. But if that right there runs it up, I'll die. I'll even let it here and, and let it kill me to see it. it. It'll probably time me out of this kiosk, but it shouldn't matter. Pretty sure it'll kill you. Because I, mean, I, I did that at least twice I've walked away from the computer thinking I was all right and came back dead. Maybe not. No, I was going to say maybe we'll stop at 50. Uh, 
I mean, in other words, I think you're right. I don't think you're supposed to be able to. <laughs> but again, this, this I think is a bug. I don't think this is working the way it's supposed to. I don't think it should be climbing on its own just standing here. That I think is, is bugged. It didn't kill me. It passed. And pa I passed out. Huh. Maybe I just needed to let it kill me, get me to that point. Now, now it's not going up right there. Maybe that's what I needed to do. Maybe I needed to quit fighting it and just let it do it. Huh, I don't know. Not wrong side. I get it. Yeah, see my heart rate's going up, just standing still again. Move over a step, it quits. I don't know what that, that, that hurt was from. Something's definitely goofed. I have to think that's a, a bug. I really should probably exit. Let's go see if this is in the right hangar. That that's that's as much a thing here in, in our court. Nope. Is it still spawned? Where is it? I guess it got sucked up, but it's definitely not in hangar ten. I had gotten drawn up, but that was awful quick. And I did die first, but that isn't four or five minutes, right? So I got drawn up pretty quick. I want to just check now that I've been playing a huge time. Let's see what the load time is. Is like, and hell, I've I've got RAM just maxed out almost there. That's that's pretty high for this game even for me. I got 16 gigs. So it's not like high high usage for the PC, but it's pretty high for this game. I do know this patch seems to be. I mean, it seems to load twice as fast as it did from here in and to here you know from the desktop to here and then from here in it's like twice as fast as it was yesterday that's from a fresh load so let's see how it is after after a long session of play let's see how fast it loads in Definitely no loading, not not an infinite load or anything, so that's good. Until my, my hard drive light <laughs> hitting on my hard drive pretty good. Mm, not great.
amount. Yeah, this is about the same as it was before. It takes a long time, so I guess I guess it was only faster because it was uh a, you know, I had cleaned out everything. Obviously when when three five came in, major patches, I I even reset up my keyboards and stuff. I don't I don't even try to save anything. I intentionally let it rebuild and, and go from scratch. Somebody stole Teddy out of my room. Or he's still loading in, maybe. Oh, there he goes. I, well, I, I that was I, I went four and a half hours with no crashes, no nothing, and that's the first time I even relogged. Yeah. Now this may or may not be the same server. I'd almost bet it is, though. Well, I just I just relogged, so that that should give me a good server without no telling if it's fresh or whatever. Yeah, I I just relogged to see how long. Just curious to see if it helped, because I was I was getting some issues, some, some little glitchy ground effects and whatnot. So I relogged that to see how fast it is, because this this patch seems to be a lot faster for me to load in, and you know most people may not notice, but you know being on a hard drive, I'll notice a lot smaller a, a, a difference in load times than other people might notice, because mine are so exaggerated anyway, right? You know. Normally it takes me it takes me close to seven minutes. <laughs> it takes me like over five and sometimes almost seven minutes to load the game. That's from desktop to game. And then it takes another four or five minutes. Here how the music's cutting in and out a little bit. Yeah, there it goes. It takes another four or five minutes for that to go away. Uh, you know, it'll be kind of staticky a little bit for a little while sometime till all that loads up. Uh, yeah, it's still loading, you can tell. See how I'm getting staticky, low frames, the music's cutting in and out. That's, I think a lot of that right there, a good bit of that, is that I'm on hard drive. I believe if I were on SSD, it would load all that a lot faster. My hard drive is still solid. It ha it hasn't even blinked <laughs> since I since I reloaded. Yeah, my hard drive hasn't even blinked. It it's still just solid light. You know, the little light on your computer it tells you when you're accessing the hard drive. Yeah, mine's just a solid light right now. And it will be for several more minutes. Yeah, I was good. I, I had uh, a, a real camera that was like at the top of the I need to get list. And not necessarily for streaming, because hell, as far as I'm concerned, that that cell phone does fine, you know. But the game doesn't recognize the cell phone, so I can't use it with FOIP, because <laughs> it's not a true JPEG camera. Well, it is, but I'd have to plug it in and figure out how to use it hardwired to my PC to do that. I'm not even sure that's possible or any of that, so I'm not going to bother with that. Right now, I'm using it it's literally 
connected via Wi-Fi. My cell phone is connected via Wi-Fi, and that's how I'm getting my digital camera picture. So the game won't do that. It won't use it for FOIP that way. So that was kind of why I wanted as much a reason as, as streaming is why I wanted to get a real camera. <laughs> But the SSD's beating it out. It, it's moved. To, it's moved to the top of the list. Because I really do think that's a lot of my problem. It's just that, yeah, the, the hard drive is just now starting to blink. And okay, now now we're getting loaded. And, but notice that now the sound's not fading in and out. It's not blinking in and out. That'll happen anytime I respawn you know, die and, and respawn to a new area. Anytime it's loading a new area, I get uh, several minutes of, of load in to where it has to load in all the new assets and the sounds blink in and out a little bit. And I think a lot of that is the damn... Uh, oh, it's not bad looking armor. Yeah, I just re-logged to the menu and back in, so I may actually have logged right back into the same server if it's it's still a viable server. <coughs> now So my freelancer spawned in the wrong location for some reason. Or it got drawn up before I got there, which might be the case. I was goofing off. Look at that. I know that's silly. I knew enough how to damn dying, aren't I? I knew enough about how to editing and video and all that. I'd do something there, but... Yeah, you can use that side if you want. Been killing me lately. I don't have I don't have the heart rate for it. Make sure I'm not dying this door. Well, it's not making me reclaim the thing. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Hangar 8. Now that sounds like a workable hangar. 10 sounded like a mistake. He done forgot his number. It's amazing how fast you can forget a number. 
You are blocking an active flight. Oh man. Please vacate the vicinity. Why are they doing this to me? Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, you. please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. How are you supposed to get out of here if they store your ship in two minutes? Before you can get there. I bet it spawned to a wrong hangar. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you. Uh, either they spawned, either they sucked it up, or it's at the wrong... Yeah, see, there's a ship here. They ain't mine. Somebody's hornet. So it's giving me the wrong hangers. It spawned, but it wasn't in this hangar because there's already a ship there. <laughs> Darn it, I was sure hoping to uh, confirm that it was working better here, the ship spawning crap, but guess not. Not gonna let me out of the hangar. Elevator's not gonna come because nobody's supposed to be down there. You kick this valve here until you get some. There we go. I ain't messing with this ship, dude. Consoles messing with me. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Hangar 2. That sounds more like it. That's what I said last time, wasn't it? <coughs> Warning. You are blocking an active flight bay. Please vacate the vicinity. Oh, I ain't gonna bother going down the stairs if that keeps snapping it up. I mean, that's like fucking... Initiating ship storage yeah, procedure. that's like Your playing a stupid... Here, take this and snatch it back from me kind of game. I quit playing that when I got out of high, out of high school. I need to see if there's anything submitted on this, because this is crazy. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. I'll hurry the Thank fuck you, up so I can reclaim it. I guess I'll try a different ship. Maybe it's the ship that's the issue. There, it's gone. Can't imagine this one working. The ship has been delivered to the following land. Unless it is the ship. 
since it actually goes as good as the uh, Titan. I wasn't told me I was gonna, gonna store it. Yeah, you know, I'm beginning to think it's ship related. It's not necessarily art corp, but it's more ship related. Every time I have trouble with the Freelancer, but other ships seem to spawn out decently here. Or better than the Freelancer, I should say. This morning I'm kind of running around with no real purpose. I guess I should get a purpose. This thing doesn't have any interior whatsoever. Something's leaking, looks like. set them for this but yeah you, I mean what I'm getting is, is that sure looks and and that's that's not just the time of day that looks a lot foggier than it normally does to me and it looks washed out and foggy
I mean, I'm right there. I'm pretty close. Yeah, that looks a lot, lot more, a lot more washed out than it was. Or, and does that not look hazy compared to what I? I mean, that looks hazy as hell. And that's coming and going, so two different times of day or whatever. And third, fourth time today I've been to this planet, and yeah. Every time I've been there, every time I look at it, it looks just hazy as hell. Compared to what it used to look like in PTU. Definitely hate. Trying to get on that tunnel. Uh, they, they, I guess that's the uh, new takeoff thing. Huh. Yeah, it's throwing me away. That's pretty cool. Turning me over even. I see, I see it there, but I don't see it in between there. I was hoping to get down there. Yeah, it's not gonna let me. <laughs> Darn it! I wanted to get under that bridge. <laughs> That is not fair. Let me in the bridge. I'm gonna go places I ain't supposed to be. <laughs> Where's that bridge? Try the other side. They're not going to let me. I'm going to end up dying here. I know it. I want to go under that damn thing. Yeah, there it is. Why can't I go under there? <laughs> That's funny. I've never, never actually tried that before. Now you can run into it without dying, huh? Okay, flying in and out of the buildings isn't the thing. Isn't the thing. That's not the thing to do.
That'll take a minute to reload. Doing something there, gang? Yeah, I might need to reboot my computer. I think it's acting funny. Oh, yeah, I'm getting delays on everything here. Not a real boy yet. Can I get up? Yeah. Now I'm a real boy. Actually, Teddy ain't popped in yet. Uh, definitely time for a vlog. All right, Visions, I, I think I'm fixing to head off. Uh, go go watch my favorite streamer anyway, and and yeah, I'll I'll probably get on tonight. Uh. As much as anything, I wouldn't mind seeing it if you know how to find that uh, neon lab. That that would be cool because I'd like to know. I mean, I I can find them. I can do the missions and find them, but it's random whether I find the one with neon or not. <laughs> I I get what you know. I I can find them, but I haven't actually found any landmarks or found any landmarks that I could use. So you know. Haven't tried that hard. Kind of like everything. I get halfway going and then end up doing something else.
so guys there's only a couple of people so I'm not going to bother uh, throwing a raid I would suggest if you're not doing anything else then uh, check out Nerd Show and Tell he's one of my favorites I'm sure y'all will like him there's plenty of others uh, as well I'm sure but anyway I do appreciate er everybody coming and, and hanging out and and thank you again, Visions. You were a great help with that uh, with that heat thing and, and the quantum jump issue I was having. I appreciate all the help. And thanks again, everybody. We'll talk to you tomorrow, probably.